everybody, welcome to Resource Slime's devlog number 7 and let's jump in! Of course, first of all, we continued to add functionality to the block entities, which includes some more block entity rendering, which just adds a really, really nice visual flair to everything, and I think it adds a lot. Talking about the visuals, I also added some temporary textures for the extracts because the missing textures were really annoying at this point. And now with most block entities working, I want to present the general idea of progression. So first of all, you go underground and you find the gems. For example, some citrine. You smelt the raw citrine into the uncut gems and then you cut them using the gem cutting station. With those cut gems, slime balls, and a resource, you can then make an item in the slime incubation station that lets you spawn a resource slime. After the slime is grown enough, you can harvest the slimy extract resource from the slime itself with a bucket. After that, you take the slimy resource, combine it with soapy water in the slime extract cleaning station to get normal extracts. These extracts can then be used to craft your resources. The only thing not functional yet in this whole chain is the incubation station because number one, I don't have a proper slime spawning item just yet and I don't really want to use the spawn egg either. And number two, as we have discovered last stream, I most likely have to redesign a major part of how the resources are saved, because instead of making them an enum, I will probably have to make them a custom forge registry entry and make a custom class on all of that craziness. This is most likely going to be a way better idea if I want other mods to be able to use my mod as sort of an API and add their own resources to it, especially for mods where I don't actually plan on doing it, then they can do it themselves. It just makes my mod more compatible, which in the end is of course exactly what I want to do. So this refactoring is probably going to happen, you know, next devlog or the one after that, as it's probably going to be a really, really big refactoring. Speaking of refactoring, I did refactor a little bit of the code, but not enough to call it clean yet by any stretch of the imagination. I'll probably need to sit down a full day at some point and code it off stream so that I can properly clean everything. In the meantime though, we're just going to add some other stuff. I also fixed the bug where the rotation of the block entity renderer didn't quite line up with the rotation of the block entity and some hilarity ensued on stream when we tried to rotate the items. Okay, that's um kind of weird. Or did I just like, wait, no. Uh, although like, would that work? Yeah, okay, so I need to also rotate it around. If that works, I'm gonna, I'm as confused as you. Why does it do it? Why YP? Is it does it have to be Z? Am I crazy over here? It was Z. So Z is definitely right. I I am going <laughs> to <gonna> insane. <laughs> what did I why doesn't it work anymore, guys? What did I do? I reloaded, didn't I? Did I not reload? Did I do, did I press the wrong key? Please. No. No. What am I, what is happening? Why? But I'm popping the post stack over here. This should not in, in influence this. Oh no. It can't be this. It can't be this. It can't be this. Why is it now wrong? What happened? But, but why? I, I'm doing everything the same way. I literally didn't change anything. What do you mean? But why the f does it work now? This is the same code when it didn't work. What are you talking about? What? What? This is the same code that where it didn't work. But of course, in the end, it was fixed and working. Next time, I really want to start working on some mod integration, making sure things like the displays for one probe, JI and JER work properly. And from there, we shall then see. I continue to be live Mondays and Wednesdays, 6 p.m. CEST on Twitch. So check me out there. Otherwise, hope you like this devlog and I'll see you all in the next video. So yeah.